Um, hi, baby. Where are you? Just a sec. Let me find a light. Oh, you're by the window. Good. It's a little early to get up, isn't it? I know your work starts early, but I doubt your phone's gonna ring at 3am. I see. Still having trouble sleeping? Oh, baby. Is it the dreams again? Hey, no need to be tough here, alright? I just don't want you to spend your bad nights alone. Did you have another nightmare? What was it about? I'm sorry, darling. It doesn't seem to be letting up a lot, your dreams. Not as bad as before, you say. Hmm. From what you just described, it still sounded pretty horrible to me. Baby, was it really not as bad as usual? Or are you actually starting to get used to these bad dreams? It's alright, no worries. You don't have to explain it all away to me. I understand. It's boiling in here. Is it okay if I open a window for a minute? Thanks. There. A little better. The nights are getting pretty warm these days. Doesn't make it any easier to sleep, does it? I'll see if I can find a technician and have the aircon fixed soon. Don't take this the wrong way, darling. I know you like to come up here, to the window, and look at the skyline. But usually when you have a bad dream, you wake me up, so we can cuddle it out. What's changed? It relaxes you? Yeah, true, you do this a lot. It's just that, recently, when I find you here at the window, you don't look that relaxed anymore. I know bad dreams don't exactly make you smile, but before we're about to go to bed, you tend to spend more time here. I see you staring off into the distance a lot more, and you don't have that relaxed look on your face, not like you usually do. Day or night, you always look... sad. Yeah, we tend to stay up a bit late, don't we? I get that you're a little tired. If it really is just that, then maybe we should address that. Sleep a little longer, when we can. Good thing it's Friday. What do you hope will go well, baby? Something at work bothering you? You mean that one project that your boss has put you on alone? The one that's been keeping you late at work lately? Hey, no worries, babe. I don't mind you staying late when you need to. I told you, it really is fine. What must be done, must be done. And we work around that. But seriously, what's been eating at you about that? You hope it'll be finished on time? Yeah, okay, I get that deadlines can be tricky. You've been very anxious about it. Sorry if I'm wrong, though, but isn't it due in about... What is it, two weeks? So far as I know, the biggest work on it has been done already. See? I'm sure it'll be okay. Especially if you keep working on it like this. You're doing brilliantly, baby. And I'm sure your boss sees that too. Try not to doubt yourself too much and do what you think is right. That's all you can do. Oh, baby, come here. Uh, it's not fun to be thinking about work in the middle of the night. I get it. This should be the time to rest, recharge, get some much-needed snuggles in. But hey, like I said, it's Friday. We'll be having a good weekend soon, I just know it. We'll order some takeout tomorrow night, okay? And sleep in on Sunday. We'll need to have some relaxed time soon. And maybe you'll have some time to unwind at Jolene's place as well. It's this weekend you guys are doing that housewarming of a new apartment, right? Yeah, thought so. She's always good with her guests. So long as that new place of hers has a good fridge with wine in it. 
That's a pretty deep sigh there, darling. Are you sure you're still looking forward to it? Because if you're not, you can just cancel it and... Hmm. Always there for your friends, you are. Nay, it's okay, baby. Let's not plan out the entire weekend at the window in the middle of the night, okay? If you're up for it, I think we should get back to bed. See if we can still get some sleep in before we have to get up. Don't worry about the dreams, baby. I'll cuddle up to you however you want. That always seems to help. And you know what? Snooze a little bit longer, okay? I'll make us breakfast. I know I don't have to, but I want to. Really, it's no trouble at all. We're having a good breakfast to get your day started off right for a good last day before the weekend. That's what I thought. Come on, Angel. Back to bed we go. Sleep well, my love. Morning, darling. How was the rest of your night? Oh, good. Glad you still managed to fall asleep for a bit. You're out on time. Brekkie's ready. Oh, I thank you. I think it looks good, too. Have a seat at the table, and I'll get a plate to you in a minute. Here you are, darling. Tuck in. Got you some coffee, too. Best thing to start the day. How is it? Are my eggs and bacon still the best in the world? <laughs> you're right, you're right, no talking with your mouth full. But what am I saying? No one can compete with me in my cooking skills. Well, except you, maybe. <laughs> I gotta say, it's nice to see you haven't lost your appetite, baby. Honestly, it makes me feel more at ease, actually. Well, sorry if I'm wrong. But I just think you've been looking a little bit more sad lately. A bit more exhausted than usual. Could be nothing, I, I just noticed it. A lot on your mind? Yeah, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry, I'll stop asking. But you know me, I worry too much. <laughs> it's cute, huh? Alright, I'll happily be cute if it makes you smile. Hey, if you're looking for a distraction, I heard there's an arts convention in town soon. Anyone can come in and show their work. Might be something for you, if you like. You could show off your creations there. Not interested? Well, that's okay. Just thought I should let you know. Weren't you working on something new, by the way? I think you mentioned it a few weeks ago. Your idea sounded amazing. But if I remember it right, I had to, um... Wait for your genius creation to be finished before I could witness its glory. <laughs> oh, you haven't finished it yet. Stopped working on it a while ago. Oh, alright. Um, why did you stop? Was it not fun for you anymore? Hmm, just can't get into it smoothly anymore. I'm sorry to hear that, baby. Seems like it's not as enjoyable for you as it used to be. Or am I wrong? Do you still like to work on these kinds of projects? Oh, you do? Well, that's good. I'm glad you're still into it. I mean, whenever we talk about it, you always love telling me every single detail. The ideas, the process, the results. It's always so lovely to see a face light up when you've got something new you're excited about. You've got a lot of passion for it. I think Jeline was really curious about it too. She messaged me the other day and asked when you're going to show us the new masterpiece. I told her she'll just have to wait until the housewarming this weekend to know more. 
Hey, what's wrong, baby? You're staring into your ex just a little bit too ominously. You showed a similar expression when I mentioned a party when we were awake last night. You can tell me if you're not feeling up to it, darling. You don't have to be there. What about the group? Things are... tense? Hmm. Okay. So the night usually starts off well. Then, when more people come in, it gets... quieter. Tricky to say something. People are short-fused. Babe, sounds like it's not as much fun to be there as it used to be. How come your friends are so difficult to hang out with these days? You always love seeing them. Oh. Oh, I see. So, let me get this straight. It's pretty much fine when it's a smaller group, but when Angela comes in, it just brings the mood down. Hmm, yeah. It sounds to me as if you're just constantly watching what you say around them then. Especially when Angela's there. Babe, it's not your fault when people start bickering amongst each other. Why is it always you that needs to walk on eggshells there? It's like you don't know if you're about to step on a landmine. Babe, I know you. You always want to do right by everyone. You know, make sure everyone is happy but yourself. You really are an angel. And even still, you're afraid of making people angry. Darling, their tensions are their own fault, not yours. You're not burning a bridge if it's already littered with landmines. Treading carefully isn't a crime if you're trying to avoid being caught in a crossfire. If you don't want to go this weekend, if you want to take a break from all that noise, that tension, then don't go. You don't owe anyone anything. Tell them you're sick. Or hell, tell them I wanted to spend more time with you. You wouldn't even be completely lying. I always want to spend time with you. I love our sweet and cozy nights together. You'll think about it? Okay, that's good. All I want is for you to not hurt yourself, trying to please everyone else. You're stressed enough as it is. It's okay, baby. You know you can tell me these things anytime you like. And no, you haven't ruined breakfast with your worries. I'm glad you told me, and I'm glad to see you're eating alright. When you're stressed, you can really... Oh, okay. No, that's alright. That's alright. One plate's enough if you're feeling a bit nauseous. Are you alright, though? Not getting too sick, I hope? It's normal. Sure, sure. Well, if you say it'll go away soon, then... I'll just clean up the dishes and we'll get ready to head to work, okay? No, no, no worries. Just go make yourself even prettier than you already are, and I'll take care of this. I know you need to be at work early. It's gonna be okay, Angel. I'm always here for you. You're welcome. I love you too. Hey babe, is that you? Welcome home, I'm upstairs, decided to do some uh, remodeling. Come on up and I'll show you. Surprise! Like what I've done with the place? Excellent question. What this is, darling, is a blanket fort. Yeah, so, I got home from work a little early today, and I wanted to do something special. Something to relax and to start our weekend off comfortably. 
No worries about work or social life. Just you and me chilling in Fort Snuggles. <laughs> yeah, Fort Snuggles. What, you don't like the name I gave our little house of happiness? I knew you would. So what do you think? Spent hours on it. It's all made from the softest and comfiest things I could find. Got our bed blanket hoisted up like a tent. The floor is littered with more blankets, along with even more than that to snuggle under. See, I've got these very soft ones you like so much. Here, smell them. Did I wash these? Maybe. And of course, I've got pillows. Pillows everywhere. Even went so far as to buy some extra pillows on the way home today. Why? Well, because I could, darling. And because I wanted to make this evening as comfortable as possible for us. And you uh, can't fail to notice the one thing every good blanket fort needs. Fairy lights! Pretty, aren't they? Are those our Christmas lights? Um, well, yeah. Well, no, I've, I thought I'd pull them out of their hiatus and make them work for a living, instead of just in December. So, you like it? Oh, wonderful. Well then, what are we waiting for? The Ford is wide open. Ditch the office getup, get your comfy clothes on, and join me. Oh, just dump the clothes on the floor, babe. The one thing we're not going to be tonight is neat. Now, come here next to me. There you go. Hi. I was thinking after a long, tiring workday, you might be a bit hungry, so I've prepped us something we can snack on. Right here. Check it out. I got us some savoury pastries, sweet pastries, those chocolates you like, little sandwiches, and... Wine. No, oh, absolutely, darling. We might be snuggling in a blanket fort like kids, but we're gonna enjoy at least some perks of adulthood. Here you are. And cheers, Angel. Ah. Not bad, that. I should open one of these more often. What, me? Getting drunk easily? Oh, nah. Where'd you get that idea? <laughs> Take some snacks, babe. I'm not gonna eat them all by myself. Ah. How are you feeling, darling? Is it a nice thing to come home to? Unexpected, yeah, I bet. But I'm glad you were pleasantly surprised. What inspired it? Ah, well, I just, um, really wanted to do something very special for you. I saw how down you've been lately, and it was tearing me up, knowing I couldn't do anything to help. But then I thought, yes, I can help. I can cheer you up. Even if it's only for a moment. You're very welcome, darling. I'm so glad you're enjoying it so much. Feeling more at ease already? Oh, that's lovely. See, this is exactly what I wanted to show you by doing this. Yeah, it's to show you it's okay to let responsibilities and stress go for a moment. Yet you say you know, and I believe you, but you need to feel it too. You're always running around, worrying about everyone else. Always doing everything you can to peacefully resolve a problem, and that's very noble and kind of you. But you keep taking on the weight of the world like this, and it drains you. It can make you feel like... like nothing in your life matters. That you don't matter. And I was becoming very worried that that might be happening to you. That you might be growing... Sad and depressed. Tell me, Angel, am I right when I think you feel this way? Oh, baby, it's okay. It's all okay. No, no, that's not true. You're not a burden, babe. I did all this tonight because I wanted to cheer you up. Not because I felt like I had to or because I felt like I wasn't enough for you. So no need to start thinking like that. I love you, and I always will, no matter what's going on in your head. 
Come here, you. Lay down with me for a minute. Mm, there you go. And of course, you can lay your head on my chest. Go ahead. Oh, you're tired, aren't you? Yeah, I thought so. I could see it on your face. It's alright. Just relax for a bit. Rest your eyes. I'm not going anywhere. Hmm. Hi, baby. I think we might have just taken a bit of an unexpected nap. <laughs> Feeling a bit better, darling? Yeah? Ah, that's lovely. See? A bit of relaxing can do wonders. Hey, whatever you're dealing with right now, darling, whatever is going through your mind every day, I just want you to know that I will always be here. I can't make it all go away, but I will do everything I can to help you however you need me to. We're in this together, even if you don't feel like it sometimes. You are not alone. Oh, you're so welcome, my love. Hey, now that we've taken a small power nap, how about we get ourselves some proper food in here? I was thinking a good takeaway to go with a movie of your choice to go with it. What do you say? That's what I like to hear. Let me just pull up my phone here and... Ah, takeaway. There it is. So, do you want to glance at a menu or... Nope, same thing as before. I'm on it. <laughs> 